rebranding Nigeria to become one of the world's most famous investment destinations is the crux of the nation's 51st independence celebration in Canada. And the reforms that are taking place in Nigeria are conducing to be of such a magnitude that the road to Nigeria is now wide open. It is like a huge train that has suddenly come to your station and its doors are flung open for opportunities and you are still waiting for the best time before you enter that train. Today, I stand here as a conductor to that Nigerian train and engineer Mustafa Bello, who is the, the pilot of the train is here. Today is the opportunity we give you by opening a window into Nigeria. What is it that Nigeria has in stock for Canadian investors? Mustafa Bello of the Nigerian Investment Promotion Commission, NIPC, came with a large delegation from Nigeria to answer this question. Tunde Odulade, a Nigerian patriot and cultural diplomat, also illustrated the total intellectual property and culture of Nigeria to the admiration of the investors. Our major focus actually is to look at these four core areas, mining the non-oil non and gas, and then the mining in the oil and gas, and then uh, in agriculture and infrastructure. And technologically, as I said, Canada is advanced in all these areas. I'm heartened in the fact that the uh, 2020 plan looks like it's well on its way, and this is definitely the type of environment that uh, we would want to see and look at investing in how we're going to participate in that economy. My goal is so that all Canadians can see Nigerians how I see Nigerians, and then there will be a loving relationship with, with Canadians and Nigerians that will last forever. It is no longer business as usual, but business unusual, as plans are in place for follow-up and implementation. Economists recently projected that in the next 40 years, Nigeria will become the fastest growing economy in the world. In Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, Joy Usiago, NTA News.